This guy between us helped the 1970 Irish average over 32 points a game in a year where he had over 1,100 receiving yards. And the offense on this year's Irish squad is shaping up to be just as prolific. We bring in Sean Gallagher on the countdown, and Sean, even through injuries, this team still puts up some pretty good numbers. Yeah, well, maybe you guys want to pump the brakes a little bit. Last week was actually the Irish's worst offensive performance, if you want to call it that. Just 450 total yards with 215 on the ground, but who's counting? And then those measly 30 points. But seriously, this week they're taking on a UMass defense that's allowed over 500 yards a game and just over 36 points a game as well. So this is yet another opportunity for this proficient and prolific Irish offense to really take advantage and put up some huge numbers. It's just explosive. I mean, it's fun to play around. The injuries haven't made it easy, but the Notre Dame offense continues to excel week in and week out. I'm not happy with the injury, certainly, um, but I'm happy with the collaboration of the offensive staff, the working environment, and just the ability to come to a consensus and, and work well together. I'm very pleased with all of those things. And the most pleasing part of this offense, the play of C.J. Procise and Will Fuller. The pair has accounted for 61% of the team's total yardage this season. And what's more impressive, They've scored 69% of the team's total touchdowns, 9 out of 13. And remember, one of those four team touchdowns came on a fake field goal against Virginia. I feel like we've done a great job so far. I mean, you know, he'll, we'll, we'll call plays, you know, for him. You know, we'll call plays and he'll go up and get it and he makes plays for us. And then when it's, when it's, it's I mean, they call it on me, I'm going to make a plays for me. Uh, as a receiver, you got to block knowing that CJ could score it out at any time or, you know, at, at receiver, I mean, obviously running your routes, knowing that it could come out your way at any time. So it's fun. It's definitely fun playing with explosive players. So. Man, it's awesome. Uh, you know, it definitely keeps you a little more comfortable to know that once you get the ball out to a guy that you expect to be a, a five to ten yard route with the, the speed and the life after the catch that they have, it's unreal. You can just put the ball out there and, and hope that something great is going to happen, and more times than not, it will. But for something great to happen, we all know it starts in the trenches, and the play of the O-line is what's keeping things firing on all cylinders. Those guys are hard workers and play hard and play tough. And guys are making plays like that, you know, especially CJ not stopping his legs, Will just outrunning entire defenses. Um, you look up and they're still going. The one good thing about this offense is we're starting to create an identity. Our, our offensive line is so powerful up front and our running back is so good that there's not much you can do to stop our run game. And once that gets going and you bring an extra hat in the box and we throw it out to our playmakers. And even with Will Fuller flashing greatness through these first three games, it's the Notre Dame ground attack that's been extremely impressive. Their 682 yards through three games is the most since 90, 1996, and that's when current running backs coach for the Irish, Autry Denson, was actually occupying that backfield. Guys? All right, Sean, thank you very much.